Let's take a look at removing objects from a workspace and then deleting that workspace. Here I have a model that I imported into a workspace in a previous video. Let's use the folder browser to, to go to the workspace itself. You can see that it has quite a few objects in here. Let's remove all but one of them. I'm going to use the select all button over here. And then let's say that I just want to keep this one CAD model in the workspace. I will uncheck it. Then you can use the minus sign to remove objects from the workspace. And here they are all listed in here. We also have the option to erase objects from the CAD application. I will click the OK button. And so now it tells me, hey, I'm going to erase all these different objects from your Creo Parametric session. I'll click the OK button. You might have noticed that the object that was in the background is no longer there. And it's no longer open inside of Creo Parametric. I don't have any models open. So now let's take a look at deleting the workspace. But before I delete the workspace, I'm going to do a couple things to make it a little more complicated. I'm going to take this particular object and then check it out. And let's also create a brand new object in Creo Parametric. I will create a new part. Let's call it the test part. And I will click the OK button. And the object is created. Let's hit the Save button. And then we can go back to the workspace. And so there I have the two different objects inside of my workspace. One new object and one object that is checked out. You cannot delete the workspace that you are currently in. You need to change to a different workspace before you can delete it. So I'm going to go to my server manager. Again, I have the server manager icon added to my quick access toolbar because I use it so much. It's a lot easier than using file manage session server manager to get to it. Now we'll change to a different workspace. It warns you that it's going to erase all objects in the session. Do you want to continue? I will click the yes button. And so now when I go to workspace, we're going to see different contents inside of here based on some other work that I was doing. Let me close the embedded browser and once again go back to the server manager. If I want to delete that original workspace, I can select it. And then from the workspace command, we can choose delete over here. You can also use right mouse button functionality to delete it. And remember, I had a checked out object and a new object inside of there. It's telling me that, hey, it cannot be deleted as it has new or checked out objects. All right, let's click the OK button and go back to this original workspace. So be aware that there are some restrictions. Let me go back to the workspace over here. And first off, I'm going to get rid of the object that is new inside of here. I will select it and then use the minus sign to remove the objects from the workspace and then click the OK button. It says, hey, some of the objects in the list are modified. Removing these objects will discard the changes. Do you want to proceed? I will click the yes button and now we just have a checked out object once again let's use the server manager to change to a different workspace and then try to delete the original hit the delete button and again it tells you it can't be deleted because the other object is still checked out let me click the ok button switch back over here and then go to the workspace itself here we have the object checked out. We can select it and then this button over here is for undo checkout. And I can click the OK button. So now the workspace has just the one object. Let's switch over again to a different workspace. And now I can right click again and choose delete. Are you sure that you want to delete it? I will click the OK button and that workspace will go away. So again, for the best behavior inside of Windchill, I cannot recommend this enough. When you have a new task, create a new workspace. When you're done with that task, delete the workspace. That will give you the best resulting behavior for your cache and avoid problems when you are using Windchill. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.